Hey, good morning. How you doing? Are you awake? I mean, it's 11 o'clock. You should be. Unless you work like third shift and then you're, you're probably not even listening to this. You're probably still asleep. Or you might have just gone to bed. Yeah, depending on what you did after work. Um, but hey, it's Saturday. That's always a good thing, right? I mean, even if you work, it's, it's always nice. Whether you work on the weekends or not, it's always nice. The weekends, there's just a certain allure to the weekend. It's just, you know, the two days that are meant to be for, like, relaxation. Uh, often they're not, because if you're like me, you know, you work during the week. You, know, you put in good hard hours during the week. You don't feel like doing a whole lot when you get home Monday through Friday. So, Saturday and Sunday, you spend the majority of those days cleaning the house, doing yard work, other odds and ends, or filming videos like this. Um, but hey, and, and tell you what, the weather today is wet. Very wet. Um, it's raining like cats and dogs out there. I don't know what the hell that means. I never looked it up, but I can't imagine where that came from. My only thought is that some guy somewhere, probably some like Irish pub or something. Nothing against Irish. I love the Irish people, but let's be honest. They have good pubs. They do. And then, you know, you can't go wrong with an Irish beer. Um, and they are notorious for, you know, they, they like to have a drink down then. There's nothing wrong with that. But I can just imagine, you know, some guy, because... I would assume that, you know, probably in Ireland, um, you know, whenever I see a show about Ireland that, that, that takes place in Ireland, it's always kind of dreary, rainy, drizzly. So I'm assuming they get a lot of rain over there. Um, which would make sense, because I mean, it's called, it's referred to as like, what, the Emerald Isle, isn't it? Something like that. And they do have a lot of, like, beautiful green. You know, the, the grass and their, their fields and their vegetation over there from you know all the like travel um, shows I've seen uh, you know, like Joseph what is it Joseph Rosendo and Burt Wolf and yeah you know I watch PBS that's that's my idea of reality television is PBS fuck Survivor and you know, the shows you know tease their own if you like those shows. Great. I mean, there's probably nothing wrong with the shows themselves. Just not my cup of tea. I just, you know, to me, that's not fucking Survivor. There's camera. If something goes wrong, there's somebody there to help them. Okay, that's not Survivor. You want to make a Survivor show? Okay, you put stationary cameras all around an island. You drop these fucking people on an island with nothing. Nothing. Okay, and they get it catch their own food, they have to hunt, they have to fish, they have to build their own shit, they have to learn how to, you know, make weapons to do the hunting, you know, that would be, now that I would watch, because that'd be interesting as hell, you know, and if they get hurt, well, you know, I'm sad to say, you know, unless it's something serious, okay, if, if they get mild injuries, you know what, hey, grow a pair, deal with it, believe me, I've been injured Plenty of freaking times. Okay? I take care of it myself. Anyway. Like I said. The cats and dogs thing. I'm guessing that's where a guy Some guy probably went into an Irish pub somewhere. It was pouring out around. He's like, man, I tell you, man. It's, it's, I know it's an Irish accent. I'm not even going to try. But, you know, he walked in. And said, man, it, it's raining like fucking cats and dogs out there, man. Actually, that, that sounds more like a. A stoner walks into a, a, a hookah emporium or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's the only way I can think that came about. Somebody just, for lack of thinking of something better, they just said it and it just kind of stuck. Because otherwise, it, it just don't make any damn sense. It, I don't know. Anyway, enough rambling about that. I got a box here. Uh, this is the other. This is the only thing um, out of my um, Amazon order 
that I, I got my, my one survey incentive I used on. Um, this was the only thing that was shipped separately because it is fulfilled by, I mean, it was sold through Amazon, but it was fulfilled by a uh, different company. It actually, Searchlight Comics is who um, sells it. And it was basically uh, one of those things you don't know what you're going to get. All you know is there's 25 DC and 25 Marvel comics in here. And um, from what I understood, they, you know, it could be anywhere from... I should be using that pen to try to open that. I'm not breaking the damn pen. So we'll use skizzards. But it could be from... Uh, you know, like the early 80s you know, up through the most recent uh, I don't know I don't know whether I don't imagine they'd have like anything you know earlier than 80s possibly in here but hey you never know so um let's see what we got all right first one here a little 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 tag in here first Let's see what it says it's just this feels like a sticker. Searchlight Comics exclusive. I don't know what the hell that's for, but. Invoice. Don't need that. <coughs> Alright, let's pull these out of the plastic. And we'll go through and see what we got. And it looks like Marvel is first. So we've got, first we have the torch, number 43. Make some room here. All right, now oh, this one looks like a good one. You got Spider-Man Unlimited, number four. And these are, I have to admit, these... I mean, from what I can tell, these are like in like mint condition. So, all right, here we go. There's an annual for X Force featuring Shattershot. War of Rings saga. I've never heard of this one. Looks like it might have Guardians of the Galaxy in it because right there that I mean, that looks like uh, the Rocket Raccoon. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. I'll put that one on the bottom that way I know where it's at so I can look at it. Alright, never heard of this one either. It's number one in a four issue limited series. Digitech. The ultimate computer warrior is here. Okay. Sounds like one of those things they just they couldn't come up with any new ideas. They say, hey, what the hell? Let's just use a, a computer based guy. Alright, this looks like a little bit older one. Uh, Mark Hazard Merck. Number eight. You can always tell like the ones that that are a little bit older just because like the paper it's not as glossy and you know the inks and stuff look a little bit different and of course the price kind of gives it away this was 75 cents um, compared to a lot of comics today or you know two or three dollars um, huh never heard of this one either pretty cool though. NFL Super Pro, number 10. All right, here we have one of three. It's number 35, but it's the Ex Exiles. And it's number one of three in the, the story, or the crossover I guess it wouldn't be a crossover. You know what I'm trying to say. The storyline of Fantastic Voyage. So this is the first one in that three-part series. Alright, here. 
We've got the initiative Iron Man, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number 15. Says a variant. Now it's, a, it's second printing, though. That kind of bites, but oh well. Oh, I, I recognize this one. I, I've got one of these, I think. Unless it was in one of the sets I actually sold. I'm pretty sure I kept this one there. Hellstorm number one. I like how it's printed on that kind of like parchment cover. All right, here's an older one too. 60 cents. Number 17 of The Thing. Okay. Ever heard of this one? 1602 New World. It's like kind of a historical type based comic. Number four of five. Number one of four. Shadowland, Blood on the Streets. Never heard of, of course, I haven't really kept up with comics. Um, so, I mean, there's a shit ton of characters that I just don't have any freaking clue about. But this one's got a parental advisory on it. That's always nice. That way, you know, something we toned down and tamed for the, the younger. Squadron Supreme. Number six. Um, okay, this is number 75 of Thunderbolt. Got a weird, weird cover on there. Right, next. Uh, it's not have a number on it. It's just October of 94. That's fairly old. 94. This is a Generation X Collector's Preview comic. Hmm. Says you can win an actual X-Men animation cell. Wonder if I could still do that. I doubt it. Alright, here's... Um, this, I guess this is just called Silk Cat Fight. Number three. Hmm. All right. Issue number seventy-eight. Ultimate Spider-Man. Little byline on it is dumped. Hmm. Marvel Knights one of five. Angel, that's a pretty cool looking cover right there. That'd make a like a nice looking or something like that, and like a tattoo. Imagine that. Yeah, I don't have any tattoos. I'm. I have a few in mind that I'd love to get, but it's a matter of one having the money and two being able to have the time to do at least a rough design myself, and and then find a tattoo artist that's willing to do. You know, my work. Because that's a... If I'm going to get a fucking tattoo... You know, no offense. I mean, no, I know there's a shit ton... Almost every tattoo artist... Not not everyone, but most of them... Are very talented artists. Um, just on paper. You know, and then to translate in, 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 into tattoos... It's even more remarkable. Because um, there's obviously a big difference... Between doing something on paper... Or like a canvas or something... And then doing it on... You know, three-dimensional skin... Um, so I give tattoo artists a lot of credit as being the artist they are, but you know, I'm not an immaculate artist in in no way, shape, or form. I mean, I've got some rough talent, um, and I enjoy doing it. And you know, they always say it's you know in the eye of the beholder. You know, there's some things I've seen that you know I think are are just absolutely amazing. Other people would look at it and be like, it's shit. You know, and vice versa, there are some people that, you know, think something's just the most amazing thing they've ever seen, and I look at it, I'm like, eh, I don't know, it's all, all on how it's done and everything, but, 
if I'm going to take the time, spend the money to have something, you know, actually on me forever, you know, I want it to be my, my artwork, or at least the majority of it in, you know, I mean, obviously I get like details and actual shading and stuff, I'd leave to the, the artist, but anyway, I don't know when that'll happen. Uh, eventually, that's on my bucket list to get at least one of my tattoos before I die, and hopefully that won't be for another 45, 50 years. Longevity runs well in my family. All of my grandparents lived to fairly old ages. My grandpa lived to like 98 or something like that, and up to about six months before he died, he was living on his own. I mean, he walked, he used a walker to get around, but he still, you know, cooked his own meals, you know. Kept his house tidy and everything. He did most stuff himself. All right, here we go. This is number two. Vision and Scarlet Witch. <laughs> it's funny when you look at, I mean, not so much Scarlet Witch. I mean, obviously red's a little bit more red here as opposed to the movie. It was more of a darker, like a maroon type. But especially like, like a, a Vision. You see how different he looks in the comic compared to how he is in the movie. <laughs> All right, here we have a number one, part one of a two-part blast from the past. X-Men Alpha Fight. I like that one. Let's see, looks like we got who's that North North Star on there. That's Storm, Wolverine, Colossus. Not sure who that that is. Or the little guy down here. Have to read and find out. Another X Men. This is number three seventy one. A new Marvel epic begins here. The Uncanny X Men: Warlock Enslaved. So. All right, and here's number 71, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers. Looks like it's got a wasp on the cover there. Which show should be in the next uh, Ant-Man movie, which I don't think it's due to come out till next year, 2018, I believe. All right, this, this one's kind of vague on the cover. I show a whole lot. Savage Wolverine. It's got two little shadows back there. And number one of eight. The torch. So that's the Marvel comics. Like got a couple good ones in there. Now we will go for DC. So you DC fans, I know some people are partial to one or the other. I'm kind of an all-around. I mean, my, my, one of my favorite groups is the X-Men, but um, you know, also I really like Batman. Justice League, you know. I also really like Lobo. Lobo from Marvel. I, got, I think I got a couple of Lobo comics. I like anyway, here we go with DC. Here we have the Legion of Superheroes. Number 298. The Edge of Nowhere. Number 9. The Young All-Stars. I've never heard of that. That one there kind of looks like a mix between if you took like Cyclops and Vision from Marvel and put them together, you get that guy there. Oh, this one's actually got a sticker on it, or it looks like they were trying to sell it for ten bucks. Begin with. 
And it's not on the comic, it's on the plastic outside. But Sacrifice Part 1 of Superman. Then I got a little, I don't know whether I can get it close enough where you can actually see it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Alright. Tales of the Legion of Superheroes, number 350. Number two, the it's gem, son of Saturn. That kind of looks like the guy that's flying in that other one. Red skin, blue cape. No, no. Just similar abilities and stuff. All right, we got number one of uh, Timberwolf. Never heard of that one. That looks pretty cool. Though. Spectre number twelve. Number two of the Flash. <clears throat> Plus, I haven't really kept up with on on TV the Flash, that and the Green Arrow. I watch them every now and then. I mean, they're good shows, but I just I always forget to watch them like every week. Trouble Magnet. Number one of four. Never heard of that either. All right, here we go. Number two seventeen, Superman. Number seventy three, Jonah Hex. Seven ninety seven, Batman Detective Comics. It shows you how long that title's been around. They're up in 797. Hardware, number 31. Due to the death. Alright, three furious features in this issue of the Unknown Soldier. Number 264. Firebrand, number nine. Different cover, black and white, except for the guy phone. Trinity, Wonder Woman, number 24. Guy Gardner, Warrior, number 35. cover number seven of hero number six of hammerlock I don't think I've ever heard of that one either a few I haven't heard of in DC number five of the human defense corpse corpse not corpse Cores or core into hell. So I guess maybe corpse would be appropriate. Alright, number two of the Titans. This this cover feels I mean it don't look too bad. But you can tell I me mean, it just feels a little wavy, almost like it's been, like it's maybe gotten wet or damp at one time. But it's still intact, except for you know that that bottom corner is coming. I'll have to try to see. I don't know whether I have any. I think I have some comic sleeves somewhere. Number nineteen of the Green Lantern Corps. It's another uh, movie that's supposed to be coming out eventually, the new Green Lantern. So we can all try to put the, the no offense to Ryan, I love Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, but even he has said that he wasn't real happy with uh, the Green Lantern movie. So I mean, in and of itself, wasn't a bad movie, but there was a lot to be desired in it too. So hopefully they make up for it with the next one. Here we go, Rebels number five. 
We've got Thunder and Martian Manhunter. Number one. And lastly, we have Teen Titans, number 31. So, there we go. New box. I'm going to have to get up. But actually, I got boxes back here. I'm going to use one of these boxes. I'm going to use this box. Will it fit? Oh, yeah, they fit perfectly in there. Excellent. Yeah, I still got room. I can move some of my other ones into that box. All right, well, that's it. That was my uh, comic collection from uh, Searchlight Comics. Um, I'm sure they have still have them available if you like comics. I can't remember how much I paid for that. It wasn't that much. I'll say like between 20 and 30 bucks, I think. Um, you can go on to Amazon and um, you know, if you if you look up comic like comic bulk, I think it'll probably bring up. Just look for uh, search like comics. Um, that's it. All right, I'm gonna go have some lunch and then get some work done around the house. So everybody. Uh, have a good day, depending on where you're at, what the weather's like. If you're here in Ohio, <laughs> it's a good day to just stay in the freaking house. Uh, it's going to be a wet one. Of course, they're calling, I think they're calling for rain like this whole next week. So hopefully it won't be that bad so I can still get quite a bit of my work done at, at work. Um, so everybody uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm actually thinking... I might head to the store here in a little bit and get me a get me a little bit of brewski to enjoy my Saturday night. Maybe watch a Fantastic Beasts in 3D and have a few cold ones. So maybe I'll see if anybody wants to come over and hang out. We'll wait and see. Uh, that's it. See ya.